people are watching today is a raining rainy day right now i want to preach the gospel to everybody First of all, we can give the thanks and praise to the Lord. Because one more day, we are enjoying in Christ Jesus. Before I start to pray the gospel, I want to pray for everybody. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for everybody. The people are walking and the people are hearing this word of God. I pray for each and every people so that when I am preaching this gospel, this gospel can reach to all the people. In Jesus' name, okay. Hello. So today, when I am preaching this gospel, I am very happy to say to each and every people that Jesus Christ is a living God. Go to the Bible. I want to say to each and every people (coughs) 
the manifestation of Jesus Christ in this world. Not only to give eternal life, but each and every people <coughs> should live in this world as a child of God. Praise the Lord. Come on. Come on. Bible says the birth of Jesus Christ in this world giving each and every people <coughs> an opportunity to be with Jesus Christ when you believe that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. Come, come on. Come on. Come on, everybody. Come, come on. I thought you were belong to there. Come on. I'm calling you. Come, come on. How are you? What's your name? Farhad. I am preaching gospel. Which country are you from? Uh, Bangladesh. We are neighbor country. I am from India. Uh, I am preaching Jesus Christ. He is our Lord and Savior. We are getting salvation only through Jesus Christ. No any other God. Okay. This is a reality. You want me to pray? I can pray for you one minute. You will get salvation. I am Muslim. No, I am not preaching religion. I am not preaching. I am not Christian. Yeah. I am not preaching religion. Uh, I am not preaching. I am not part of any religion. I am preaching one God, that is Jesus Christ can get eternal life. According to the Bible, that's a true gospel. If you want, I can pray for you one minute. Yeah. If you want, I can pray for you one minute. Yeah, What's your name? Uh, my name is Farhad. Heavenly Father, I prepare for right now. Thank you for your blessing, spiritually this brother, in Jesus' name. Spiritually opening the brother eyes. Thank you for your doing accordingly. In Jesus' name, I bless this brother and everybody to Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. God bless you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Keep it with you. Okay. I'm not. This is not religion. Okay. Yeah. Keep read this one and say Amen. You are getting eternal life. Okay. Thank you very much. Everybody, come on. So today, <coughs> as I said before, come on, everybody. Okay. Come, come on again. Gospel right. Gospel right. Gospel. Come forward. Tomorrow I won't be here. Today only one hour. After that I'll go to my home. I'm preaching gospel. Come, come out again. Do you believe Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior? Yes, we do. Oh, that's good. 2013, I born again and baptized. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm preaching gospel. Why don't, you, why don't you come to your church every Sunday, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m.? 4 p.m. Yeah. Want to come and share your testimony? Okay. Okay. This is a church address, okay? And you come and have a cup of coffee. Share your testimony. God bless you. Thank you very much, okay? Please come tomorrow. Thank you. God bless you. So today, <coughs> Each and every people, those who are working here, I want to say, the birth of Jesus Christ in this world, giving an opportunity to each and every people to be with Jesus Christ in the heaven. Praise the Lord. That is what the Bible says. Gospel John chapter, Gospel John Bible says, as many as received that Jesus Christ is their Lord and Savior. God bless you. Our God has given a right, a power to become in the children of God. According to the Bible, we all are the children of God, those who are believing in Jesus Christ. 
very simple thing. Every week I am here, one or two days preaching the gospel, any of the days. You want one? Come on. Read and say Amen. Okay, come on, come forward. Did you, did you accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior? Thank you. You have to, okay. Read and say Amen. You are getting eternal life. Eternal life is very important. So the Bible says, the purpose of birth of Jesus Christ itself is giving to each and every people a glorious life. Apostle Paul, Bible says, Apostle Paul was saying, by the revelation of the Holy Spirit, our God itself is sitting in your heart. That is what Bible says, the Christ is in you, the hope of glory. Today is a rainy day. Lots of people are walking and enjoying. I am also really enjoying my gospel preaching. But I don't know how many number of people are aware about this good news. According to the Bible, come on. Come on. Heaven is real and hell is real. God bless you. Guide no problem. Come on, come on, come on, come on, everybody. Take it. Bible says, if heaven is real, there is a God in the heaven. If hell is real, there is a Satan in the hell. Come on. God bless you, okay? Uh, read and say amen. This is a different. If you want, you can keep it. Okay. Come to Sunday. Okay. We can have a cup of coffee. 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Okay. We have wonderful church service. Most welcome. There is a refreshment. You can most welcome. He's there. Come tomorrow. Please come. Please come. 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Yeah, yeah. This address here. Okay. Oh, no. I can't come today. Not tomorrow. Not today. Tomorrow. Sunday. Every Sunday. God bless you. Okay, thank you. Everybody. Bible says, if heaven is there, there is a God. If hell is there, there is a Satan. You okay? Come on, I. Gospel, I am preaching gospel. Jesus Christ is a living God. Jesus Christ is not a prophet. Living God. That's what I am preaching. If you want, you can take it. I am not forcing. I am preaching real gospel, true gospel and wonderful and powerful gospel. You want one? No, no. I am not asking any other religion. I am not preaching religion. No problem. Yeah. God bless you. Say so today. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Good. If hell is real, according to the Bible, death is also real. According to the Bible, Everybody, each and every people will get eternal life, can able to come out from the hell to the heaven when you are living in this world by believing that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. Very simple question. Come on, come on, come on. Very simple question. Simple thing. Very easy to follow the Bible. Praise the Lord. That is what the Bible says. Book of Romans, chapter 8. What does one Bible says? There is no condemnation. Those who are in Christ Jesus. You want God bless you. But there is a condemnation. Those who are not believing that Jesus Christ is 
their Lord and Savior. This is the reality. How we can be in Christ Jesus? Only one way we can be in Christ Jesus by trusting that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, I am the life, I am the truth. I am preaching only one true and wonderful and powerful God in front of everybody. That is Jesus Christ is a living God. Praise the Lord. So all the people are walking here. This is the best and golden opportunity you are getting through me today to accept this wonderful God is your Lord and Savior in your life. I can pray for you. Everyone, I can pray for you. And the sick people are walking. Body pain. Come on, come on. Come on. Body pain, neck pain, back pain, bone pain, arthritis, HIV positive, cancer, tumor. Any kind of sick people, most welcome. I can pray for you. God will heal you. Praise the Lord. Bible is a healing place. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, I am the life, and I am the truth. I am preaching only one God who can give the guidance in your life. That is Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. I go to the Bible. The purpose of birth of Jesus Christ in this world to give the life to the lost one. Jesus Christ, I go to the Bible. God bless you. You want to pray? I can pray for it. I can pray. Come on, I can pray for it. If you want. The another nature of Jesus Christ is a healing. Come on. Healing is a nature of our God, Jesus Christ. Does it matter? What kind of sickness you are suffering? You know, come on. Take it. Doesn't matter what kind of persecution which you are facing today. But according to the Bible, each and every people are worthy to receive the healing and deliverance from Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In the Bible, Book of Colossians, the Bible says, One day we were far away from the glory of the Lord. But according to the Bible, by the birth of Jesus Christ, we all are good and righteous to the Lord Jesus Christ. In heaven by believing that you are the child of God. I got the Bible. The blood of Jesus Christ cleanses our all our sins. Hey, come to church, okay? Cup of coffee tomorrow for me. Hey, come everybody, come to a church and have a cup of coffee. Okay. Wonderful church service. We are preaching Bible, sharing. Hey, you want? Can I say hello? You want? Sorry, no, no, I'm just spitting. God bless you. Okay. If you want to take it. What is that? I'm preaching. If you want, you take it. I'm preaching Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior. Okay. God bless you. I was talking about my 
the blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ cleanses our all, our sins. Only one God can forgive your sin. That is Jesus Christ. But some people are saying, Jesus Christ is a prophet. Jesus Christ is not a prophet. According to the Bible, Jesus Christ is a living God. Gospel John chapter 1, Bible says, the word became flesh. The manifestation of Jesus Christ to get each and every people a glorious life and eternal life. Praise the Lord. God bless you. No doubt in that. I go to the Bible. I am preaching true gospel. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Book of Psalms, chapter 91, Bible says, the people, those who are believing in Jesus Christ, you are, you believe, you are getting the protection. You will get the protection from the angels of the Lord. So today, Bible says, each and every people will get a holy life. You want one? You want one? I'm preaching gospel. Jesus Christ, wonderful God. You people don't know about Jesus. Humans don't really know. I used to believe Christian up to maybe five months ago. I see the whole picture. I know all, there's no such thing. Everything's man-made. They're telling you Moses went out and get Ten Commandments. I used to believe all this. Now, if we got the Ten Commandments, that's God's word. Where is the commandments? Where are they? Because it never existed. What man is controlling you, telling you. But when you see the big picture, you, you realise. What's your name, sir? I'm Peter. We were created by different species. God, God is everything. God is the universe. That's correct. The son of Jesus. I agree. His, his son, his son was an alien hybrid. Because it's physically impossible for a woman to get pregnant unless she's artificially at seven eight. Bible says this is a plan of Jesus Christ, plan of could God you, could, could you, to send his son um, in a flesh in this world. That Jesus Christ came to this world as a flesh. That's what Gospel John chapter 1, Bible says the word became flesh. Before the foundation of the world, Jesus Christ was there. That's the word. Right? Heavenly Father, our God has created everything by word. That yeah, is what, that word become flesh. Yeah, but what, what you there is an argument is coming. Okay, God bless you. Yeah, okay, thank yeah, you. I don't want to make an argument. Keep it with you. Come to your church. I can I can clear all your doubts. I'm the person. I'm the right person to clear your doubt. Okay. I can talk and explain. Keep it with you. We'll have a cup of coffee and clear your doubt. No, I can explain to you and and I can show you. God bless you. I can show you what the purpose of life is. God bless you. Thank you very much. Okay. God bless you. Anyway, God bless you. Thank you. So today, anyone is having any doubt. I am the right person to clear your doubt. Praise the Lord. I go to the Bible. You can come forward. Straight away. But there is no argument. Praise the Lord. I don't want to make another argument with anybody. So today, I want to say to each and every people, only one God can able to forgive your sin. That is Jesus Christ. Bible is a true gospel. That is what I want to declare in the city today. Bible is a true gospel. Bible is a holy book. The people, those who are reading the Bible, you can become a holy person in Christ Jesus by accepting and believing this Jesus Christ it is your Lord and Savior. This is a wonderful message. Today, I want to hand over to you. You are not a Sinner, I go to the Bible. In Jesus Christ, each and every people a righteous person. Book of Ephesians, chapter 2, Bible says, By believing that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, we all are in the family members of the Lord. This is a wonderful a powerful and mighty gospel I'm sharing to each and every people. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So each and every people, those who are working, maybe are thinking, 
what I am doing today. I know very well what I am doing. Praise the Lord. I am preaching in the eternal life to everybody. I am preaching to each and every people. You will get a holy life. I am convincing to each and every people. Bible is the true gospel according to the Bible. Praise the Lord. Another thing, as I said before, majority of the people are thinking, I am depressed. I have anxiety. I am worried. Come on, come on, come on. But I got the Bible. All these wicked things are coming from the devil. Bible is giving a wonderful opportunity to give to each and every people that you will get a, a joyful heart in Christ Jesus. Peaceful heart and peaceful mind can only give from God. That Jesus Christ. Rest of the, all the things which is coming in our life that is not from God that is from the devil. Bible says, Book of Ephesians, chapter 1, verse 3, Bible says, We are blessed with all the spiritual blessings in Christ Jesus. Spiritually, you have got the blessings. If anybody want to receive the blessings in physically, Bible is well explained. You have to born again. The people are believing that Jesus Christ is their Lord and Savior. We are rooted and we are planted in Christ Jesus. Come on. Come on. I'm preaching gospel. Come on. Come to church, okay? Give it to your mom and we have wonderful church service, okay? Every Sunday, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Address is gay. God bless you. So today, our God's nature is to get a victorious life wherever you are living. This is what I want to share to each and every people. In the Bible, we could able to see we can see lots of characters. They were thinking. They were nothing in this world. But according in Jesus Christ, by the help of Jesus Christ, they were living in this world with a glorious life. Today, your sickness, your anxiety, your depressions, in front of God, that is nothing. Praise the Lord. Bible says, Bible is saying to each and every people, by the stripes of Jesus Christ, we are healed. Healing is happening, God bless you. Only by the blood of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, healing and deliverance, it will happen in your life. In the Bible we can see lots of examples. A woman, she was having 12 years problem. Leper and blind people, they could receive the healing through Jesus Christ. Even today too, your body pain, your neck pain, back pain, bone pain, arthritis, HIV positive and cancer, everything, there is a solution in Christ Jesus. The solution is, you are already healed 2023 years before. By the stripes of Jesus Christ, you are healed. Everybody, not only you, everybody. But you have to believe. You have to believe. That is very important. If you are not believing, Nothing will happen. Praise the Lord. When I was preaching the gospel in Leeds City Center. Come on, come on, come on. Take it, take it. 
when I was preaching the gospel in Leeds City Centre. Lots of sick people. They came and they were asking for me for the prayer. Oh. Don't put it in bin. I won't okay. put it in bin. Okay. Don't speak on the mic. No, no, no. I'll speak it. Don't. But in Leeds City Centre, three times I could preach the gospel. A woman, she was sitting in the wheelchair. She could receive the healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Come on, everybody. Again, a person who was having difficulty to walk. He was walking with a walking stick. When I was praying for him, Jesus Christ healed him. Today, I am preaching only one God to each and every people. That God is a Jesus Christ, is a living God, can able to forgive your sins, and Jesus Christ can get eternal life to each and every people and make you great in the nation. God bless you, everybody. God bless you. Praise the Lord. I'll be preaching another 10 minutes more. I'll go to some other place. But this is the reality. The gospel, what I'm preaching today. That will bear the fruits. That means our God can raise up the souls from the city to the nations. Praise the Lord. So today, the reality today, I want to share to each and every people. I go to the Bible. Our birth is It was already pre-planned by Jesus Christ, by God. That means your birth is not to happen accidentally in this world. Book of Jeremiah, Bible says, Our God said to Jeremiah, I have appointed you before your birth. Before the birth of Jesus Christ, you are one. Before your birth, Jesus Christ has created you in this world. Each and every people, those who are working here, there is a special plan towards you today, Jesus Christ, towards you. That is, Gospel Matthew chapter 28, to preach the gospel to the nations. According to the Bible, the second coming of Jesus Christ is very soon. God bless you, everybody. Come, on, everybody, come at me. I'm calling everybody. If you want, you can come. No, no problem. Anybody want to come and take gospel right? Most welcome. If not, no problem. Praise the Lord. The second coming of Jesus Christ, it will happen very soon. According to the Bible. 99.99% it has all the prophecies it has already fulfilled according to the Bible in this world. Praise the Lord. Only one thing today according to the gospel I want to say to each and every people turn back to the Lord and receive this powerful Lord as your Lord and Savior in your heart and receive the eternal life and live a glorious life wherever you are living. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So all the ladies and gentlemen, before I finish this session, God bless you. Oh, come, don't forget, okay? Come tomorrow. Bring your mom and dad, okay? Come and have a cup of coffee, 4 o'clock. Okay? And the pastor. You know what? God bless you. Everybody. So today, before I finish this session, I want to declare in front of you, God bless you, okay? Jesus Christ is a living God. Jesus Christ is the only one God living in this world. No any other God we can, we can see in this world except Jesus Christ. Only Jesus Christ can provide in the eternal life to each and every people. Only Jesus Christ can forgive your sins. Only Jesus Christ can get 
is a life everlasting for you. This is a good news. So today, before I close this session, I want to say one more thing. Jesus Christ is a merciful God. Jesus Christ today is having the compassion on you today. No matter what are the things are coming in your life today. But this is a matter when you are accepting this God is your Lord and Savior in your life today or not. Praise the Lord. I want to pray for everybody. If you are repeating this prayer, you can become the child of, child of God. Heavenly Father, I believe that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. Today, I give my life to Jesus Christ. I repent my sins and I accept Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior in my heart. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. When you pray this prayer, you are the children of God. Please go to any other church. Take the word of baptism. Continue to read the Bible. Attend the fellowship. I want to pray for you. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for each and every people. The people are walking here. I bless each and everybody right now, Father. Spiritually, in all the areas. Heavenly Father, when I preach here, when I preach the gospel here today, today I preach the gospel. Lots of people heard this gospel. Thank you for your using and touching each and every people's heart. And raising up lots of ministers for the nations. Once again more, I bless the city in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. Come to church, okay? Wonderful. This address is here. Come and have a cup of coffee. God bless you. God bless you, everybody, okay? Yes, I finished my preaching. Everybody, God bless you. Come on, come on. Come on. I'm not forcing. If you want, you can take it. No problem. God bless you. God bless you, everybody. Okay, thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you. Please share this gospel. Okay, thank you.